one last question. What was your first motorcycle? The, uh, the my first motorcycle was a funny story. story. My uh, 1980, 1984, I bought like a 19, I bought a used 1978 uh, Yamaha YZ80. And I, and my parents forbid me from having a motorcycle. They absolutely, so I had to, I worked odd jobs. I mowed lawns, I shoveled snow. I did anything I had to do. And I bought that secretly um, from a, 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 someone in the neighborhood that was selling it. And it kept it hidden for like a year so that they never knew I had it. That was my first bike. It was completely, that thing was battered. It was, you know, but that, I mean, talk, talk about thrill of the ride. That thing was like my, that thing caught my passion. Um, that little two stroke YZ80 and, um, you know, and again, I didn't ride, I didn't ride a race or, but it was more like riding around. I lived in uh, kind of out in the woods. So, you know, I could just kind of take it out into the trails and, and, uh, and, and, but that was kind of my, that was my first motorcycle. And that's what we're seeing now with the Stasic and stuff, that kid that, that gets that, that first thrill never goes back. Yeah. So we are in a unique position in the industry, but there is a silver lining. And, and this could be the second coming of on any Sunday. We may get this, this surge in sales and customers for life out of, out of what the COVID has done to us. Yeah, and that's, I, that's the optimism that I have. And, I, and I, my, the urgency that I have is, you know, it's ours to, you know, not capitalize on that. It's like, it's like the industry's the industry's responsibility is, I think, for, for years it's been, how do we, how do we uh, stop the aging out? And both in the motorcycle and the bike, how do we counter this aging out of, the, you know, our, our ridership? Um, and I see some real positive signs. Like John Eric showed me the motorcycle registration demographics on the trailing 12 months and how that's skewed, especially through the last five months, skewed significantly younger right in terms of new motorcycle registrations and i go it's kind of our responsibility to say what do we do about it industry how do we make sure that we don't we capitalize and we we create the experiences for these riders that it's going to make them lifelong uh participants and not like in and out because that's a risk that we we lose them once once things get back to more normal and you know they can they have all these choices of, of ways to spend their money how do we make it so compelling that they they want it to choose to spend the, you know their their money and, and build their experiences their family experiences around our sports so uh, that's a conversation that i think we should all you know be dialoguing about uh you know with a great deal of urgency well i wish i knew more than i know um I don't, but I knew the big question, and I asked that a couple months ago in my editorial. It's like, if we don't screw up this recovery period, we could be doing great. I can't tell you how. I just, I know that we we got to get it right the first time. So I'm glad that Fox is thinking that way, and, and you're already, again, like Aaron and Eric Pernard, a couple steps ahead of the rest of us dimwit editors, but there are smart people working on it and addressing the issue. So I, I look forward to seeing what comes from Fox to, to help move us all for, forward. Cool. Hey, Robin, thanks for taking the time. It was really nice to meet you and I'll take you up on that offer. We'd love to have you down here to meet in person. Um, and man, that was a great idea about having the board, like bringing those outside perspectives into the industry to allow, you know, to expand uh, and give access to viewers to help understand, you know, um, like the world through different eyes would be, I think, a great idea. So yeah, thanks, you've got such a that. great mix of, of talent there. I mean, it, you can't harness that kind of energy without bringing those people together and, and letting them share the wealth.